Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I'm here with the Mystery Machine, which is actually an old Ford van. And I'm going to solve the mystery of the Willy Tomb for you. Because it seems like this mysterious thing, you know, how can I tune in the game to do this kind of stuff with these cars? Well, I'm going to tell you what makes for an easy Willy Machine, how to tune it, uh, and everything else. No secrets held back. So first of all, the way the game works is the best Willy cars um, tend to be cars with shorter wheelbases and or uh, cars that can somehow get enough power to lift its front wheels off the ground easily, but yet maintain grip so that it doesn't simply spin the tires. What's interesting is they come in all varieties. It's not just one type of car that would do it. Um, the Corvette Stingray here is a great Willy car. Even the Ariel Atom uh, will do fancy Willys if you tune it correctly. And that's what's interesting about it. Cars that has the ability to, one, run drag racing tires. That's going to be a big part of it. you got to have the ability to run drag racing tires. You have to have the ability to run, preferably, rally suspension. This is important in most of the cars. Even this Aerial Atom, even though it doesn't look jacked up, is slightly jacked up on using uh, rally tires. And then the next, and this is the important part that people don't mention a lot in their wheelie car build uh, videos, is that it is not always about the most power when you're upgrading for engine. It is about having the right amount of power to get through and lift the car up on a wheelie without blowing your tires off. So that's the key. If you're putting out too much power that your car is basically spinning its tires nonstop, and, we'll and in this case, this particular car is at 1,045 horsepower, but it actually may be able to get more, and I just didn't install those things because I don't find them relevant to helping me for wheelie. So as you can see, a lot of parts are actually not installed. Also, I find that with the transmission, while on this car, a simple race transmission is good enough, it's almost always easier with a 10-speed to pull off wheelies. So when you're building the car, you want to build enough power to not overwhelm the tires, but not too much, but not too little. And also, you want a transmission that's going to have the gearing necessary to allow you to pull off the actual wheelies. Now, once we've had the car built, the next step would be to actually tune it to pull off what we're looking for. So generally speaking, as I mentioned earlier, it is the short wheelbase cars that are highly lifted that makes for some of the best wheelie cars. In fact, uh, this is why these old uh, jacked up SUVs like the GMC Jimmy uh, makes for such good wheelie cars. And that also includes uh, the Ford Van uh, Mystery Machine. Okay. Oh, wait, I retuned this car for an event, so it's actually not a wheelie car. Hold on, let me uh, go ahead and grab the wheelie car from Ford. Let's just go ahead and grab the mystery van again. Where is my mystery van? There it is. Okay, notice I put all-wheel drive on this Transit because it can do both wheelies lifting the front, and if you reverse the tune uh, on the suspension, you can actually do wheelies lifting the back which is kind of fun too. Because of its short wheelbase and high grip, and uh, again, I, the engine's upgraded to a level where it can make good numbers without being crazy, this is where this car lifts its wheelie. Now, from tuning standpoint, uh, you want the tires that's on the grip side, which is rear in most cases, at the lowest PSI. Many people recommend putting this at the highest PSI. It's it's helpful if the car's struggling, but I don't find it useful generally. Um, alignment, just straight down zeros. This is, again, something you can tweak to see if it'll help, but I don't find a whole lot of effect from it. Um, Anti-roll bars. If you leave the anti-roll bars on uh, for the rear, you may have the car be able to handle a little better while it's on the wheelie really side of things. Uh, sometimes I just put it on one on a lot of cars and it works fine. The main thing here for suspension is 
maximum rear if you're wanting to lift the front wheel maximum rear spring minimum front spring maximum rear dampening minimum front dampening always maximum height the higher the car uh, the easier it is to trigger a wheelie and the shorter the wheelbase the easier it is to trigger a wheelie once you get that done your real factor here is one rear wheel drive and then it's playing between the gearing and the differential what what it happened is the higher the differential lock-in um, at 100 percent you're more easily going to have your tires spin okay in this case for, for this car it doesn't matter but you see at least that two nice strip of uh, rubber there when it takes off but it still has enough grip to pull it off on some cars having a hundred percent really isn't helpful because the tires will spin and you won't lift it just it just grinds so the differential if you lower it what happens is you'll find that the car actually grips better in the feel of while it's accelerating it's not instantly spinning the tires uh, so that's why sometimes I lower the differential for some cars you can reverse anything you can do with the one wheel you can do with the re rear wheel as well so let's reverse the tune for a front wheel lift wheelie now I'm not touching the tires in the anti roll bars but I'm basically gonna reverse all these things here dampening's reversed okay and differential is reversed so once you do that you will now have a car that does reverse wheelies like this okay so you can both do a front wheelie and a reverse wheelie with some cars only the ones that are really easy to do wheelies with in the first place what about tougher cars to do it in um, there are a lot of cars that we want to see wheelies in but they they just seem to struggle and that's particularly true with a lot of these great muscle cars we have in the game uh, you would think these guys will pull some wonderful wheelies like the GNX uh, Buick here but they can only Im at least up to my tuning standards they can only pull what I would call a photo op wheelie rather than a full wheelie because when you accelerate it barely lifts the front wheel it doesn't really give you enough easy setups to truly pull off a crazy wheelie okay but it, it'll lift the wheel it'll lift it enough to be kind of a, a decent wheelie but with these cars if you want to take a photo though you need it to lift it long enough that you can hit that P button and at least on my keyboard to get the photo so what I do is I do uh, basically a little reverse tap and then forward and that'll give you a long enough lift to actually get hopefully a photo in this case and no that one didn't quite finish so let's go out okay let's do that again we want we want a full lift like that and then photo op and this is what I call photo op wheel lift car not tr a true wheelie car in my opinion um, in the sense that it can not hold it for very long and um, you're doing like a trick with the shifting to get it to work so that is not quite the exact same thing so that is essentially your willy cars um, and how to tune them I'm gonna slowly share my own tunes with everybody so you can always try out mine first and then see if you can duplicate your own or make your own based on what I'm showing in the video so I hope you like this uh, feel free to ask me questions about willy tunes I love doing them and most cars, not all, but most cars can do some level of photo op wheelie tune, especially if they're muscle cars or uh, high enough in height or short enough in wheelbase. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.